Of course, Zane, these mistakes are what prevent you from speaking fluently. But how can I speak fluently if I keep making mistakes? Isn't that the problem? Don't worry, you're not alone. Millions of people struggle with this. But the good news is, there's a way to overcome it. Hey, Zane. It's really nice to see you today. How are you feeling? Hi, Laura. I'm okay, I guess. A bit nervous, to be honest. That's completely normal, Zane. You're in a safe space here. We're just going to have a chat and there's no pressure at all. I'm here to help you and we'll take things one step at a time, okay? Yeah, okay. It's just that. I get so anxious whenever I think about speaking English, especially in front of native speakers. I feel like I'll mess up or say something wrong and they'll judge me. I totally get where you're coming from. It's a really common feeling, especially when you're still building confidence in a new language. Can you tell me a little more about what makes you nervous? What's going through your mind when you think about speaking English? Well, I keep thinking that I'll say something wrong or pronounce a word incorrectly, and people will laugh at me or think I'm not smart. I've been trying to learn for a while. But every time I start to speak, my mind just blanks. It's like all the words I've learned disappear. That's such a common experience, Zane, and it's something so many people go through. It can be really scary to put yourself out there, especially when you feel like everyone's watching and waiting for you to make a mistake. But I want you to know that making mistakes is actually a really important part of learning. We all make them, even native speakers. Really? Even native speakers? Absolutely. You wouldn't believe how often I've messed up when I was learning new languages. I've said the wrong thing, used the wrong word, even had whole conversations that made no sense. Let's talk a bit about where this fear comes from. It sounds like one of your biggest worries is making mistakes, right? Yeah. I'm really afraid of making mistakes. I feel like if I don't speak perfectly, then I shouldn't speak at all. That's a lot of pressure to put on yourself, Zane. Perfection is a pretty high standard, and honestly, it's not one that anyone can meet all the time. Language is about communication, not perfection. When we focus too much on speaking perfectly, it can actually hold us back from expressing ourselves. Have you ever felt like that? Yeah, I guess I do. I've always thought that if I'm not perfect, people won't take me seriously. But here's the thing, when you speak, people are more interested in understanding what you're saying, not in whether every word is perfect. Think about it like this. When someone is talking to you in your native language, do you notice every little mistake they make or do you focus on what they're trying to tell you? I guess I focus more on what they're saying. Exactly. And that's how most people listen, too. They're not out to catch your mistakes. They're interested in your ideas, your opinions, and your stories. The pressure to be perfect can really weigh us down, but once you let go of that, you'll find it much easier to speak freely. That makes sense. But it's still hard to shake off the fear. It is, and that's okay. It takes time and practice to reframe how we think about mistakes. Speaking of which, have you had any experiences where you felt really embarrassed after making a mistake? Yeah. There was this one time at work. I was trying to explain something in English, and I got the words all mixed up. Everyone just looked at me, and I could tell they were confused. I felt so stupid. That sounds like a tough experience, Zane. But I want you to think about it from another angle. In that moment, you were trying to communicate, and that's what matters most. Even if it didn't come out perfectly, 
You were brave enough to try, and that's something to be proud of. Plus, I bet you learned a lot from that situation, right? I guess, but it still feels like I failed. It's okay to feel that way. But remember, every time you push yourself to speak, even when it's hard, you're making progress. Now, let's talk about some practical ways to break down that fear. First off, let's remember that mistakes are normal. I know we've talked about this, but it's worth repeating because it's so important. No one speaks perfectly all the time, not me, not native speakers, not anyone. The key is to learn from those mistakes and keep moving forward. Okay, I can see that. Good. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that practice makes progress. It's not about being perfect right away. It's about getting a little better every time you practice. Celebrate those small improvements, even if they seem minor. Each one is a step toward becoming more confident. That sounds doable. I think. I know it is. And something else that can really help is positive self-talk. We often don't realize how much our thoughts affect our confidence. If you're telling yourself, I'm going to mess up, or I'm not good at this, it's going to make you feel more anxious. But if you start replacing those thoughts with things like, I'm doing my best, or every conversation is practice, you'll start to feel more positive about speaking. I guess I do tend to think negatively. I'll try to be more positive. That's the spirit. And remember, it's a process. It's okay if it doesn't happen overnight. Now, let's talk about some practical tips you can use to ease into speaking English more comfortably. Okay, I'm ready. First, take baby steps. Start with short, simple conversations. You don't have to dive into deep, complex topics right away. Even just saying hello or asking how someone's day is going is a great way to start. It's about building your confidence little by little. I can do that. Short conversations seem less scary. Exactly. And another tip is to practice active listening. Pay close attention to how native speakers talk, how they pronounce words, their intonation, and the phrases they use. The more you listen, the more you'll start to pick up on these patterns and feel comfortable using them yourself. That makes sense. I've noticed that when I listen closely, I start to understand more. Right. And here's something that can be really helpful. Record yourself speaking. It might feel a little weird at first, but it's a great way to hear how you sound and identify areas you want to improve. Plus, you can track your progress over time, which is super encouraging. I've never tried that before, but I can see how it could help. Give it a try. It's a private way to practice and get more comfortable with your voice in English. Another thing you can do is find a language buddy. This could be someone else who's learning English or even a native speaker who's willing to practice with you. It's a great way to make speaking more fun and less stressful because you're both in it together. I like that idea. It sounds less intimidating than speaking with someone who's fluent. Exactly. It's all about finding ways to make the process more comfortable for you. And remember, it's okay to take your time. Patience and persistence are key. You're already making progress by being here and talking about this.